hello students today's agenda is to check homework and we're going to be reviewing uh, transformations so a mix and match of all of them and you will be able to work on 7.6 today students will be able to identify and apply the effects of different transformations on graphs so I'm going to be doing some examples and I'm just going to be telling you what is going on or what's happening with each one of the of the numbers or the negatives uh, if there are inside of parentheses or outside <clears throat> but basically it's just a review of what you saw on 7.4 and 7.5 uh, and now you're going to be doing more more than one transformation at a time. Before we start, let me remind you that um, if we have y equals x, it just refers to this graph. It's just a line. It's a linear equation. And remember that if you're adding 2, you go up outside of the parentheses. If you're uh, subtracting 2, outside of the parentheses it goes down. If you add 2 inside of the parentheses it goes to the left. If you subtract 2 inside of the parentheses it goes right. Okay, so those are just translations basically. Then we have the y equals x squared and you get a parabola y equals x cubed and I know that you have these in your notes but the more you write it the more you will remember um, it produces this kind of of graph uh, you have y equals the absolute value of x it creates it means y is always the positive of, of x so if x is positive y is positive if x is negative, y is positive. Okay? Then you have y equals square root of x. And so we only have half of the graph because we cannot have negative x inside of the square root. Uh, because we need a number that multiplied times itself is always positive and you don't get anything multiplied times itself being positive, I mean negative, so that's why we cannot have negative x, okay? So these are the basic shapes of, we could call them mother graphs, okay? And we're going to, we're going to based on, it doesn't matter which one you, ch we have, as long as you know what's happening with the transformations, okay? So, if we have y equals x squared, we know that it's this type of graph. But then, what if to that graph, we multiply the x squared times 5, and we add 2? And this is what I'm going to be telling you, but um, again, it's a review. If you're adding 2... <clears throat> and that's outside of the parentheses, then it means that you're just sliding it up to spaces. And this stretches, if it was between parentheses, it would um, compress it vertically, but in here, when no parentheses, it's going to stretch, okay? This stretches the graph horizontally, I'm horizontally, my goodness, uh, vertically. Okay, it stretches, it's like when you go to the fun house and you stretch um, or you look in the mirror, this is the regular you, and then in the mirror you look taller and you look skinnier, okay? Stretch vertically. So, we're gonna move 
the graph two spaces up. So instead of starting here, it's going to start here. And then it stretches. So each point is going to, instead of being here, it stretches. It stretches. So it's going to be basically closer to my Y because it's stretching. So this will be my new graph. I moved it up two spaces plus okay I moved it two spaces and I stretched the graph so two transformations happening in here now what if I have y equals x plus 2 square minus 1. So what is this doing? We're subtracting 1 outside of the parentheses. So you're going to move the parabola, because it's squared, parabola down one space. And then we are adding to, not multiplying. Multiplying makes the, make it stretches or compressions. But we're adding to inside of the parentheses. So remember that add, adding or subtracting is the opposite, left or right, okay? When we're adding, goes to the left. When we're subtracting, goes to the right. And that's only inside of the parentheses. Outside, it moves it up or down, depending on the sign. So my graph in here, this will be my regular graph, my mother graph. And then for the transformations, I have two transformations. So it's going to go down one, and it's going to go two to the left. So one, two. So one down, two to the left, starts right here. But it opens just as it is. No stretches, no compressions. Okay, so something like this. Okay. It just moved down once and to the left two times. Now let's do y equals 5x squared, but the 5x is inside of a parenthesis and needs multiplication, so we know that it's either a compression or a stretch. Okay, inside of the parentheses is horizontal. Multiplying by five is a compression. So let me write that down. Okay, multiplying by not a fraction but a whole number whole number bigger than one this means horizontal compression like an accordion and you're pressing it together Okay, or like the bill. And this is outside and it's subtraction. So it's, remember, adding or subtracting is just moving it up, down, left, right. Okay, depending if it's outside or inside. And if it's plus or minus. Okay, so horizontal compression. Moving it down three spaces. I have my original. I'm going to move it six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, right here. And then a horizontal compression means I'm going to come here and push it in. I'm going to compress it. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Okay. Now let's do a different, different one. 
What about y equals hmm. I can think of a new one and I think that that's all I had for you. But let me see. Uh, maybe one with a fraction. One third x and let's do it inside of the parentheses. Maybe I can do it one inside the parentheses and one outside and then plus four okay so when it's a fraction and let me write it down when it's a fraction it's a inside of the parentheses it's horizontal stretch horizontal stretch and then this will go up. So if my original is in here, then it's going to stretch it horizontally and also going up four spaces. So one, two, three, four. But then also stretching it means it widens, right? So it's gonna be wider. Whoops. And I might be exaggerating, but it's just so you can see. As long as you understand the concept of what this transformation do, that's fine, okay? So the fraction is a horizontal stretch and you're adding four, so it moves it up one, two, three, four, because you're adding four outside, that's why it goes up. If you were adding inside, then it would go to the left, okay? Now, I'm gonna do the same thing, but no parentheses. So this will be my original. And so I'm gonna move up two spaces, right? This goes up two. And what this does is that each point shortens, right? So it would be in here if it didn't have the going up, but so it would be something like this, okay? So basically, if you have a fraction either inside or outside, for different reasons, it still makes it look wider, okay? This is because each point compresses vertically, and this is because it stretches horizontally, but the same, the same effect is done in both, okay? So I hope this helps you, um, and now you can do 7.6, and have fun.